What up and welcome everybody. We got episode four of Pause and Predict. I am Mushu Beef. Joining me on that side is Volamel. We are getting trying to trying to get warmed up on this Tuesday evening. Warm. How you doing, man? I can't complain. You know, winding down, enjoying some uh some adult beverages with uh good <laughs> company and some uh some good esports to view, so Got to gotta catch up on some EU now that, you know, uh, Masters is all wrapped up uh, across the globe. You yeah. know, Korea, we got we to gotta wait some, for some VODs to start rolling in from Challengers before we get into that. So might as well uh, see what EU's up to. Yeah, I haven't really watched any of the European games. I have not watched any of the European games. Let's make that declarative. Um, mm. I don't know how if you've gotten to catch it all. Catch it at all. But I caught part of one map from the series and it won't be this split map um okay. and i was pretty impressed and intrigued with some of the things that's that that were going on so mm -hmm. um yeah just was was very interested to see what the rest of the series looked like and uh starting with this first map it uh yeah, I'm already, I, I, I'm already don't zoomed in here because I figured out the scene, uh, the the formatting and whatnot. So we already have a little bit of a spoiler. Did you want to check mm. which one map? Which map did you want to check out? Because we got looks uh, like we got. I don't really split. mind anything that isn't. Um, I've seen a bit of. Here's bind. I almost want to watch the last Haven. one. I almost want to watch, ascend on a on ascent. We can do that. Let's do it. Because. Well, I think the spoiler here is that it went to five maps, but yeah, yeah. Um, I actually don't remember who won. I think I think I do because I've been trying to avoid it a little bit, um, but I did see mm. that it was a five map series. I uh, have since kind of forgotten, but you're done with that. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do it. Good for some ascent. Alrighty. Um, anything we should know about these teams heading into it that uh, that you are aware of? <laughs> that I particularly am aware of. Um... Do you want to do like players to look out for? Or do you want to kind of discover that on your own? Because that was one of Ooh. the big things that really stuck out to me. Let's do that. Um, I have like minor info on Team Heretics, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I lied. I like that idea of trying to see if our eyes are caught by the same by the same person. Um, okay. <laughs> And I think uh, I kind of struggle with the. I don't know how you feel about the old like this pausing and predicting stuff. I think there's something still there about it, but obviously with the VOD that is uh, uh where we may or may not know the result. I think, mm. uh, it's interesting, but we can we can still we can call audibles. Uh, but at the end of the day, of course, I think it's just about uh learning and getting game knowledge and trying to uh to read the game at a bit of a deeper level. And, uh, I think I ahead. think the R word there is important. We need to read the game, and I think that's where maybe the the predicts have to start to come in, where it's yeah. more or less just taking a few rounds into consideration, drawing some conclusions, and then testing them based on you know what we've seen. Mm -hmm. You know, are they being aggressive? Where have they leaned? How have their executes gone? You know, how have some of the rounds played out? Um, is there anything we can glean from that? And then you know, trying to make a call and saying, look. This is the adjustment that I think this team will make. This is how I think this round will play out. Something like that. I don't think it'll probably end up being just like round wins and losses or, you know, stuff like that. Or you could even do like, I think last week we did like a a duel. Like who yeah. would win the duel? <laughs> Nobody won the duel, so. Yeah, we ended up figure, refunding. But, but I, th I think it is fun to to try to get a read on uh, yeah. what the teams are going to do, of course. And uh We'll, we'll refund those points if, if it ends up being a wash. It is possible. We found yeah, out cool. the platform. Um, but yes, yeah, a quick summary for anyone who is just joining for the first time for your pause and predict episode. The whole point of this is to improve game knowledge. One of my biggest feedbacks to casters is, especially as they're starting out, is learn the game more. Uh, the read on the game is so important to casting well, to analyzing, mm. to saying anything of value <laughs> on a... On, uh, as you're doing the broadcast, that's your job, right? To bring value more than what the eyeballs can see from a viewer. So what are you going to do? What are you going to notice? And what are you going to bring up as things to watch out for? And that is definitely one of my biggest, like, one of the biggest, biggest signals for what makes a good caster really great, right? What gets you to that level of where, all right, 
we're going to leave you off mute land, right? We're going to listen to what you're saying. Is not just saying the things that are with your eyeballs that, that you could tell yourself, but giving mm. more insight that a viewer who might want to relax and lay back and maybe go a little horizontal on their viewing experience can can afford to do that without having to be, um, you know, back straight, great posture looking at the minimap. And so that's what we're all about here. So with that being said, yeah, let's hop into it. Jump right into it. Like and subscribe. We are in the final map I'm an influencer now, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. me influence I, I, I didn't even. It didn't even phase me because you're just so good at. Oh, you phase you? Whatever the kids do with their hands. Uh, Got up gang signs. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it actually is. <laughs> to see here. All right, I'm actually gonna. Okay, I'm trying to uh, familiarize myself a little bit here. Let's let's look at. Mm. I'm looking at the teams here. So. Not a mirror yeah, matchup. Some compositions, yeah. Yeah, we got our uh, we got our Killjoy here instead of this. No Jet. All right. No, Killjoy no. for Jet. Other than that, Reyna this... on both sides. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. The Reyna solo duelist is pretty interesting. I think Reyna on both sides is, is definitely not something that we're used to from Korea. At Absolutely least. not. Yeah. Um, and even in NA, I feel like they've definitely strayed away from that from the matches that I've caught. Mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely something that really stuck out to me was was the composition and, and like the agent meta game coming out of EU. It's it's very different. Right. Um, the the bit of I think it was Haven that I caught the compositions were like very unique in the way that they were using some of the resources, um, especially. Just barrier orb, I think, really kind of caught me sideways in general. Um, very, very dedicated, especially when it comes to attack and not necessarily just um, using it to, you know, mix up sight lines or like head, you know, head angles. I don't know exactly how to refer to that, but just mixing up where like your avatar is going to be. Sure. Um, it, it's much more level, purposeful. Sure, yeah. Yeah, head level, something like that. Um, the, the use of barrier orb is much more used to secure a site or actually create um, or divide up the map or the, the site, that sure. is, um, to, to, to better help the attack, you know, get that post plant and, and really lock that down. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to, to seeing a little bit more of that once yeah, as we get into, you know, these later rounds, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's that, it's that it's it's how they're using the resources. Yep. And and really looking at this Reyna and saying what 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 value is this necessarily bringing? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's bringing a ton. If I had to guess. Okay. We'll see. Um, Unless one thing this is just like strictly contact play, but even then, yeah, I don't know. It's right and kind of even what you just did is something that i would especially for newer casters if you're trying to figure out what to talk about instead of kind of waffling about general like really general stuff i think calling out importance of utility especially in when there's differences on both sides we're noting mm. here uh killjoy instead of uh the jet could be a great place to start uh, a lot of things that beginning casters will do is like you'll talk about how um just something extremely surface level right like Oh, on Ascent, you know, you can talk about the maps generally. Um, so that'd be actually kind of interesting to see is can we tier the level of specificity like a, of uh, like what are points that you could make within a cast? Because it does feel like sometimes like people don't know ex all the, the breadth of the things that you could talk about. So it did make me think about that. That's yeah. interesting, yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and rock it. Heretics. As this kind of plays out, we don't need to necessarily pause it for pistol, but... Okay. One just thinking more on on Reyna and, and what she necessarily Whoa! brings it's hello um, i'm sorry sap just gifted five tier one subs oh my god thank, thank you so much you. dude thank you so much appreciate you huge huge all right well i'll continue my bad i guess when it comes to duelists i i tend to replace them at least in my mind mm -hmm. with the word entry Sure. Um, the definitions that Riot's given a lot of these agents don't necessarily mm. like line up. And this is exactly sure. what I'm talking about when it comes to barrier or right. like 
we don't necessarily see that used in this way and the fact that that's like already dividing up the sight lines um in, in the pistol round really kind of emphasizes like the the very I, I hate to just consistently drive home the word purposeful but it's it's very thought out um mm -hmm. and that's what i really appreciate appreciate about you know this this eu sage meta um but when it comes to reina and like referring to duelists as as entry um it feels like she has to get something started or it's just as good as a trade if not like worse so just kind of like hypothetically like if we're gonna like war game it right like you peak if you get a pick you can kind of become intangible and then you know create space off of that but if you don't get that pick you you just kind of feel like a lady with a gun right it doesn't it doesn't right. necessarily maybe you can lurk with her i i just don't see the flexibility that she brings compared to somebody like a raise somebody like a jet who can instantaneously get in there and actually start to make space for your team but you know what's interesting is that is something we've talked about is what is optimal valorant versus what were what True. is valorant that it, works maybe it's and comfortable think, right exactly like that x factor of the comfort is is a big deal um mm. but i i do i do agree that we have we have a lot of things to look forward to once uh the scene more matures and meta is more mature and um we see teams add like coaching staffs and and whatnot um, 100 but to catch everyone up i mean regarding your, your point kyle's actually popped off i think got four kills i believe on that first round but the reina did win it was actually the mm. last person left so so there it looked like they actually did get onto the site, but then the post plant kind of fell apart. Yeah. Um, it's probably not worth going back and looking at too in depth just because it is just, you know, an anti eco, but mm -hmm. Let's see. But yeah, I mean the, the, the uses of Sage is very notable, right? As a as a post plant mm -hmm. to try to uh it, it buys them time, but it is not giving them the advantage they need. Okay, so it looks yeah. like they might have actually so it looks like they forced. Yeah, they must have forced because they're all right. in sheriffs now. Heretics forced, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So TH is I guess... Team Heretics. Yes. I don't, that and confused me for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kaleo. So we got a lot of stingers here. And yeah, because they're bringing them in from last round for the most part, looks like. Mm -mm. Nearly everybody except for it... Kyle's. It almost feels like barrier orb in EU is almost kind of used as a as a pseudo smoke, sure. which I think is kind the of interesting. Intent of Obviously. how to use it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's not it's not as good as like an omen or a brim smoke or even like an astra smoke. Obviously, she's unavailable in this tournament in particular. But just being able to get onto the site and yeah, I guess carve up those those sight lines that. You know, some of these sites have have issues with you saw it on B site, um, kind of covering the immediate rotation onto sidewalk and down into the pit and just immediately giving them access. It doesn't necessarily matter that the wall's so uh fragile mm -hmm. once you put it up. Um, it just buys you just enough time. And if there isn't, you know, people there, they're not taking or holding those angles immediately, it buys you, you know, even more time if it actually mm -hmm. gets to solidify. So it's 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 very peculiar um with these sheriffs um i would probably assume that they're just gonna try to play for picks I, this doesn't scream rush to me um I, I don't default. imagine just yeah this, this opening with, yeah mm, from heretics i i would sure. assume that this is like going to be very slow i i doesn't the, the gun buys don't necessarily scream a rush to me at all but mm -hmm. again kind of new to you these days you know i I've dabbled with, you know, old Team Liquid rosters and whatnot, mm -hmm. but, you know, Heretics and Ascend are definitely uh, not my forte, so I could be very wrong. Let's, um, yeah, I think we're... And I mean, the, and the composition that they're running doesn't necessarily warrant that. Killjoy's sure. not necessarily the most mobile, wants mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, stay in one position or at least is dictated where she's using her resources, so if she's leaning one direction or if she's actually placed her resources down she wants to kind of stay within that whereas something like a cypher you can be a little bit more mobile you can kind of 
place and forget and not necessarily have to worry about those things. Mm-hmm. Um, no jet, no rays, so you're not getting like a flash and dash. They obviously don't have much of a flash unless you count paranoia as one, which I suppose. Um, so yeah, it feels it feels very slow, just mm-hmm. just compositionally. Sure. So that's that's what I would kind of expect the pacing to be throughout. I think Ascent definitely is a map that lends itself to direct uh, attacks, but that doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily mean it has to, right? It's not just inherent. Um, mm-hmm. I think we're definitely past the Ascent meta of just throw it down A or B. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we, we joke sometimes that mid is lava for some teams, but I, I don't expect these teams in a grand final and a, you know, game five scenario to be playing. It is lava by any means. For sure. And uh, yeah, I think seeing the composition change throughout the series would have been interesting to see leading into it. But mm. it is but it is curious to have, like you said, no, a lack of flash and dash in, in where in the global meta. So or at least from what we've seen in NA and Korea. Um, mm. And I think just in general, globally, we've seen a there's a, there's a dominant uh, meta of this double duelist. And the intent is to be in your face and on site. Um, whereas... I think both of these teams are, I mean, yeah, I, I'd still see you'd have two duelists on the side of Ascent, but Ascend, and yeah, I mean, will, will they play that way on offense is, I think, is a, is a good note to see for sure. So yeah. I think what I kind of took from your, from what you're um, thinking about is how does the team continue to move on the site for mm. uh, the team Heretics, uh, given that they don't have quite the utility that would allow them to do something very quickly, as a lot of the global regions we've seen do. So, hundred percent. Like, cool. I, I, I do wonder, and and this is sl- slight bias. You can mm-hmm. probably roll this round out again. It's, it's an anti eco, so we can kind of talk through this. But, I, I do wonder how heretics might be able to deal with any kind of op or mm. just passive play. It feels like every bit of resource that they have, whether it be mm. these leers, they don't have a ton of, um ways to force people off angles oh or just threaten them they are kind of just styling in here and they're going to commit that too wow so i did see that yeah aura did have i don't know if it's pora but probably it's aura um the killjoy on the side of the her- uh, team heretics mm-hmm. super super close to that i mean they obviously have the uh guilty now and they actually switch yeah. it up okay wow I was actually so not saying we necessarily have to go back and watch that, but it was the leer was a huge part of that early push. Mm. Um kind of wanna I'm probably gonna unmute it for a little bit. I want to see how hear how they say the names. But, mm-hmm. like to have seen, but, but Nuki's uh the the rays on, on Team Heretics was definitely curious. to be fair, the way the rounds have played out. Yeah, uh, they popped off in the open. Money. I wanna look at mm-hmm. this because it's not hundred percent. No, they no, just were not ready for the pace. Yeah. You talk about like, all right, they're going to—they're probably going to be slow. I think, um, yeah, yeah was, the sun was not ready for the pace. Not slow, especially off the line into those like opening skirmishes. I think, right? This one now. I think, I would guess that Heretics probably was a little caught off guard there sure. when it came to the uh, the B main fight. But and they hit their shots too, to their to their credit. Mm-hmm. Second round force from a Heretics. Hundred percent. So we're leaning sage mid on I think this is the base we made, we probably expected for Team Heretics, right? Like, yeah. looking for something to open it up and then manipulating the map, because that's... I mean, Team Heretics was not afraid to switch to A, even though they pretty much had access to site on B mm-hmm. there. It's a big... The, the, the composition as well, not to... Not to detract, but it, it does feel that everybody kind of needs to be together, almost. I don't think you can play for Heretics. And that's, yeah, for Heretics especially. Um, for Ascend, I think you, you could play a couple different ways with, I, again, um, my thought process when it comes to Double Duelist is that you can kind of change it up, play a little loose, be able to send somebody like a Jet and, you know, looking at a U and, and their their love of Reyna at the moment. Um, 
I think you could send Reyna on some sort of lurk play, be able to kind of stealth around, use those leers to kind of get yourself in and, and you know, create some magic. But for heretics, I think the name of the game is really these. It's finding a lot of use out of the utility that they have. And it seems to be working. If we can go back, I want to see their execute a little bit closer as I'm rambling through a lot of this. Let's see here. Just specifically, I guess, the entry. It seems simple enough when it comes to just layering them in. 0.75 speed. I mean, what so comment I was going to make was they they use they use this Reina to lead. It, it, they are absolutely the the head of the spear. Mm -hmm. And having that ultimate, I mean, they're doing that even when when Nuki didn't have that ultimate too, right? But having that ultimate just makes it even more threatening. It's very contact driven, though. Yeah, it feels like a very like they're not using a ton of utility to enter. It's a very lean, yes, offense. Which. <sighs> I don't know is the most consistent, I would guess. It has a lot of variance to it. Um, and maybe that lends itself to Reyna, but I'm not, I, I can't say that I'm over the moon just conceptually with it. I think just Reyna in general just brings such a, a low amount of utility. It, it really kind of makes you rigid, where if you see that Reyna, and you aren't going double duelist, it feels like you have to... You you are locked into one punch, if that makes sense. You, you can't make all these feints that we see, you know, looking at some of these Korean teams being able to kind of poke up, you know, show a little bit, show a little bit of utility, maybe try to sell a push, peek a little bit, take a little bit of damage, and then rotate elsewhere to kind of bait the defense into one direction. Um, I don't yeah. think heretics can afford to do that with this comp. But this is... Right. But I, I think we're seeing work with success, though. Like, what what I am noticing is they are mm. creating pressure. I mean, we, we talk about teams that thrive in chaos, right? I think based on what we've seen so far from Team Heretics, they are that is that is their advantage, and that's their utility, is mm. to completely overwhelm one... Like, find and create a weakness, exploit it, and then go from there. Because... We're seeing a lot of utility that can lock down the point afterwards, but like, have they really struggled to get in the point? I don't think that's ever been the question here. They've gotten on a point nearly every round, even on Ecos. 100%. They definitely have. It's just how they're getting onto the point. That's that's really not peculiar. It definitely like makes sense. It has some logic to it. Mm -hmm. um, and we see Cena just doing what he's done. And that... To, uh, I'll, I'll give a minor spoiler to why I wanted to kind of watch um, these finals. Um, Cena has uh, is a human highlight reel from mm -hmm. the little bit that I've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, just an absolute monster. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I it, it really comes down to their entry. That's that's very interesting to me, especially with um, looking oh. at some of these. Korean teams it's it's not it's not normal at least from from the region that we kind of cover for the most part but yeah see you mean just crazy what's not normal is the way that team heretic is playing you mean um I mean not necessarily the way that they're playing it's just how they're entering the site um and even the pace of the anti goes it's it's very quick where in Korea it's it's much more allowing the team that is enacting the eco to push into you or you know giving them that space and kind of holding those angles um so sure. you're not caught off guard by a weird bucky buy or, sure you like know, using your guns to your advantage you exactly know, at, at effective I think, ranges and whatnot yeah I, I i do think that um heretics was using their guns effectively um but it, just the pace of the anti-eco seems to be slightly different mm -hmm. another a eco here for faster. team heretics by the way yeah and they find the first frag Again, I love I love the the sage walls. It's not something I've. I mean, to be fair, it's I can't really sell NA too short. I haven't seen a ton of their games, and sage mm -hmm. really isn't a huge pick when it comes to Korea. But I I do love the the 
off the immediate like entry play having those set set walls to be able to carve stuff up sure also having the ability i, I think 100 thieves actually play sage um on a centaur has in the past um again just playing off contact it's it's rough i i don't because this can happen i, I guess you're allowed to yes this this can definitely happen um i i think it, it's tough to necessarily you know chalk that up to, oh you know yeah exactly but that definitely could play out similarly um even with guns and armor in their hands um you, you really just don't have a ton of utility however because you have that sage um and in reina can heal herself mm -hmm. you can afford to take some some slight peaks and and be able to be uh, okay with that you can trade a little bit of your health as a resource um to to kind of go into card game mentality mode mm -hmm. uh but it still is very um telegraphed i guess would be a, a way to to describe team heretics comp or the way that they're playing it at least i think but it's telegraphed i don't I mean, know only how else when you, you see would... information though i mean that's one thing that it feels is like yes i, I agree on paper it feel like doesn't feel like it should mm -hmm. be a strong comp but the way that they're playing it i mean there's a read here now but other than that they're still spread on the map right so they'll, they'll end up in 3v1 situations as they open up the mm -hmm. site it's not that I don't think it's strong necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's just very one dimensional, I suppose. And I guess you could take that as like it being weak. Um, but I think it can work. Obviously, I mean, if this archetype is definitely, well, if it has permeated into some of their other maps uh, against Ascent, like I, I do wonder how well it's it's panned out mm -hmm. mm. whoa Jeez, oh, this dude, is, it's really I, hard I to follow what's <laughs> I, I, if you want to back that up i think cned did buy an op there and I'm, i'd he be did. quite interested to see how much mm -hmm. or, or what he's doing with it the bit that i saw on haven it felt very familiar at least to me you know taking some initial angles feeling you know I hate to always bring up Wardell, but um, taking taking some aggressive doesn't shoot the bomb. Angles. Sorry, doesn't shoot that uh, that turret. By the way, to give away the op, I think it's for very anything. smart. Yep. So this is a defensive. Not a gigantic fan of those, mm -hmm. but it definitely gives you information, regardless. Um, and you know, no, a lesson from RTS: no information is information. Um, I would assume those those positions that they were shooting them in. Um, if you real pause it here, I think this is this is this kind of is a tip of the hat towards what we were talking about with Team Heretics, um, just overall composition. Um, at this point, when you invest the Owl Drone, because this composition is so starved of actual utility. Yep. At least to me, and I'm interested to hear your thoughts. If I was on defense, I would. I feel like I would bait. I, I would bite on this almost every time. It's it's a very big initial like scouting tool. We know that Heretics doesn't have a ton of ways to cut up this site to be able to find or or deny angles being held. So the fact that I'm you know you're investing the owl drone into this push. And maybe it's a little bit of hindsight, but from just like first principles of talking about this composition, when I see this owl drone come out, if if I'm just kind of looking from the defender's POV, I do wonder, I know exactly where they're headed. I kind of already know what they're setting up for. We haven't heard anything B site. It doesn't necessarily surprise me that Sova and Jet are so far, you know, in rotation. Do you think 
do you do you kind of bite the same way I do when it comes to this owl drone, or are you a little bit more vague? Like they could probably get away with you know just kind of tossing it out, getting some info, playing off that. Do you think that the defense needs to rotate as immediately as they are? It seems like they do. Like there is some information maybe between off the initial Arnis Fury and then hearing this drone here that they're mm -hmm. saying, all right, we can we let's just assume or like we have the read that they're going to attack the site and they end up being right. Um, so, I mean, I, I think, I think given what you said, it's like something to note, right? Like mm. Owl drone, they don't have a lot of ways to scout for information. We already saw the turret mid. So here is it, could it really be a B push? So I think you're playing percentages of like 70, 30. Um, so it feels like it. Yeah. I, I, th I think that there's a way Stop that you around. could be show this drone. Somebody's probably heard it. Mm-hmm. And then trying to rotate out. And obviously now, you know, Pure has put down his lockdown. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Apologies if not. Mm -hmm. Um, it definitely is that's that's an immediate tip of the hat going. This is the way that we're leaning. This is the direction we want to go, and they immediately take the site. Um, and Avova, I believe, TPs. Yeah, he uses his from the shadows. Which is interesting. Yeah. I, I know there's like in the shadows. Okay, so I think both teams yeah. use theirs. I think Avova TP's on the site. Yep, yep. Yeah. It's a TP on the site after smoking off heaven. So I mean, this, this, that, uh... is, this is the thing. It's like you, we're talking about that they don't really have a lot of ways to get utility, but when they execute, they they will make their way into site. And I think it's like hmm. it's just a it's just a seems to be there. Like I don't I think I don't mind as much. The idea that you're telegraphing what you're doing if you have a really good execute. Um, yeah, I think you know, this to, is this yeah. is fantastic. Mm -hmm. To your point, like you look at exactly where the lockdown's cutting up the map. Mm -hmm. It's something that AP Prince has done in the mm -hmm. past. Um, mm -hmm. It's a it's a less expensive execute. Mm -hmm. um, the one that Heretics is doing currently, I think mm -hmm. AP Prince is you know throwing out flashes and fault exactly. lines. And yeah, it's a very similar setup with lockdown where you're kind of cutting up the map and allowing that like right most box to be right. open and you have your your omen somehow get there through from the shadows yeah you can like scout it you can cancel it if he needs to or he can just exactly. take the space yeah yep and you have that smoke to cut off the cross so they right. hear you but they don't necessarily know exactly where you are and you immediately get in that space you don't necessarily right have here. to play yep. with um you know you don't have to or it i guess more or less kind of covers the lack of initial entry mm -hmm. that team heretics has it, it you know we talked about how it doesn't feel like their composition has a lot of punch to get into the site. Mm -hmm. But if you have these executes in place to allow Omen, maybe again, trying to set up your Reina in a way to be able to get that initial pick more often than not. Um, maybe that's some, some set plays. Are you that talking they have about offensive some... Reina? Yep. Yep. The yeah. team heretics here. Um, as long as they can have these, plays or or things set in motion to be able to kind of get that space i think it's fine it's just do we see that and, and obviously this play is is beautiful i think it's definitely set up really really well um hopefully they they continue to show that as long as they can get that reina in i think they'll be fine but again it's just that initial entry peak that they have i think that is going to be a little bit up in the air mm -hmm. there they feel very confident in their their initial dual winning accuracy. Yeah. Their Poos plan is probably one of the the best that I mean, it just seems very they they're winning a lot. It just mm. feels like post plants don't normally go as one sidedly. I don't know the right way to say this. I think they have the highest like they just seem super strong at post plant as opposed to a lot of other teams that we've watched, especially given that we've watched a lot of uh Korean Valorant. Like the post plants do not go as well as this, it feels like if you want to back up and, and look at that replay just for a moment i think this kind of is either a a a what would you call it what's like an what's a, what's a symptom of a, of the composition where because they are a little too telegraphed the defense can rotate really quickly so they're kind of forced to play the post plant on the site itself whereas in korea and and maybe again just normally You'd want to kind of play offsite, play for that denial of the defuse, um, but it maybe it could be their plan all along because of where the bombs. Well, I mean the bombs planted in where you normally want to play offsite. So again, I think it might be a, a symptom of you know having to play 
on the site because of the rotations are coming in so quick. Maybe that's just a, a you know, kudos to ascend. You know, they're they're quick to identifying that this is an issue of this composition, and they can quickly kind of force them to not give up map control, but fight them off of it. I suppose be able to kind of goat them into staying on the site and defending on the site. Hmm. Nice little poke out. Did you catch whose wall that was off of B? Um, I believe I'm I'm fairly certain this is defensive. Um, oh, really? yeah. So because the wall's not up, mm. basically, okay. um, basically what happened was there was an early, uh, rain of flash. Mm -hmm. It was called. They get B main control. I think it's Lear. Yeah, yeah the Lear. So Lear goes into uh, offensive Lear from Nuki goes out. Um, then, you know, uh, uh, Ascend has to respect it, and then they three-person push out of B, and then they clear it, and then uh, they stars... They pick, and then they wall it? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. They pick, and they wall it. Interesting. Doesn't look like Reyna bites the wall, so that's just kind of shut down. Yep. Very interesting. That's what I'm that saying. It's like, it feels like they don't, kind of... they, they don't care. Team Heretics doesn't care that... Like they don't need, they don't care about having options open on different sites. Like not shooting down mm. the wall there. They don't seem bothered, right? They don't seem bothered, but I think it's more or less like not showing or, or telling where somebody is. Like if if Rain is shown mid and shoots that wall, I don't know that she gets this play. I guess they don't know that it's Reyna, but I don't know that it matters if you know who the agent is, I suppose. So maybe shooting the wall is a little bit more tactical and then just kind of like trying to keep all of the cards you have Ooh. hidden. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why I got notifications that people are falling bone cold all of a sudden. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. <laughs> but then right back at him. Yeah. It's oh, very wow. scrappy. I feel like... it is. And that's not necessarily compositionally um, what you just saw. I think that's just more or less um, the tempo of the game. Yep. And it's a really and it good feels flank. Totally. I think this is uh, this is new turn. This is new turn vision strikers all day. If if new turns playing too slow, vision strikers mm -hmm. wraps, yep. especially on this map. Um, and that's something that it feels. And I'm interested to hear your thoughts on. Um, it feels like the calls are a little, um, not uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I guess I would say slower. The hell just happened. It feels like the the plays aren't committed to as quickly. I think it was just a wall bang. I think oh, they yeah, scouted it with recon bang? and yep. got the wall bang. Oh, it was without recon. Yeah, okay, interesting. Wall, just yeah, just I mean, off the off the vision from it. Sorry, what was your what was the thing? It. Just um. Yeah. I was interested in hearing your thoughts on the overall pace of some of these gun rounds. It feels like when, when Heretics actually commits to a play, it doesn't feel like they're necessarily fully committing, and they're just kind of waiting, trying to get these picks. And I wonder if that, again, is a, a, a subsequent illness of the composition where you don't have a ton of ways to be able to make that space through flashes, through added smokes. I, maybe even mobility it really doesn't you feel like be able to play that way it really doesn't feel like they're not sure though i i actually wouldn't I, I i personally don't see the way team heretics is playing as really i mean i think the pace feels slower but not that they're waiting mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's just like but they are it just always, it does feel like they're always moving though in my opinion like okay like how how would describe like looking at the teams how they are now obviously the the pace is being set by team heretics is that they will maybe use one or two pieces of utility to try to like off the off initial and then mm. they'll work towards something else even if it's super slow like throw a Lear mm. B move across mid go towards A ulti and heading towards A get on the site you know what I mean so it's like um it it does just feel like for me that they're always trying to move at least on this map. Uh, always moving and okay. um even if it's not like definitely a lot of stuff up front try to see if they can create some kind of pressure and then once they go onto a site 
then it's everyone knows what they're supposed to do and and go execute on it um mm. so but yeah it was interesting to see how they got like flanked on last time because i don't think it's because yeah. they're waiting around but more just because it was a slow thing right another thing i'm noticing about ascend in particular when it comes to their defense okay so they had they didn't no they did idea not know that where was cned was yeah yeah that that name in particular again you you go back to that last round you know pushing straight out of mid kind of catching them i i won't say they were playing slow by any stretch of the imagination but when you get the door shut on you when it comes to you know these barrier orbs i i do i am a little concerned that a play wasn't called to immediately give that up where they were just kind of sitting and waiting for it um kind of making some sort of mid-round call on the fly are you talking about the Team round heritage? previous to this oh, okay. nope. when it comes to just cned last round being able to push up mid um i think heretics just gets walled out of b main and they don't really do anything and cned just kind of shoves it up mid uh, i i do kind of look at the tempo it feels like ascend is trying to muscle out um the the attackers advantage of having priority where they get to kind of set the tempo of the match they have the objective kind of in their hands to be able to kind of move around make the play it feels like ascend is actually attacking and they're making the plays it doesn't feel like heretics is really given or had enough room to kind of breathe to actually get on well they get onto the sites but it's always just through just brute force they're, they're just kind of sure. in dueling them and winning those fights it doesn't feel I'm, i don't this is going to sound aggressive it doesn't feel necessarily tactical um, some of the plays definitely definitely have been, but it's always just been off of ultimates, whether it's that lockdown, whether it's the from the shadows. It 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 feels very direct. And I think Ascend's doing a good job of making and maybe this has just been a a call from their their defensive side in general is to be aggressive, kind of play off site, allow CNID to kind of make these plays, set him up with the barrier or in mid allow him the the freedom or the coverage to be able to push up mid to wrap a b-site take um they they feel like they're very in control of this game right now and it feels that aggressive ct you know defensive play is is dominating the tempo of this game it doesn't feel like heretics has a lot of room to breathe and it, it i hate to continuously go back to the composition but that on top of being kind of smothered by a sense defense here it 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 doesn't bode well, at least from my perspective, from for heretics here. Mm. I see. Same position. I'm looking at Rubino with that utility. Can he maybe deny some of this pressure coming out? They're trying to clear the side, but time's dwindling. Killjoy still able to buy some time here. I, I like that at least it does feel that they're decisive, right? In terms of heretics, like you said, oh, they need to wait for these ultimates, but they always seem to have the ones that they want to engage with, like to mm -hmm. open up with, like uh, a Brandon ulti or or a Killjoy ulti, the lockdown to bring it yeah, in. Totally. Or, um, they definitely have the it, it, it kind of takes me to like MMA where it's like while it, it feels like a heavyweight bout like you have to take a punch to give a punch that kind of feel where it's like yeah you you're a very direct team you don't necessarily have a ton of you know your, your boxing's not great, so to be able to get in and make that space, you have to eat somebody's punch, but then you're going to punch them harder. I, that kind I of see feel. it a bit more as confidence, though. Like, sure, yeah. That they I, are I mean, just going. They got here. Yeah. 100%. And, and less about, they're, like, that it, their boxing is not good. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they're, yeah, they're okay with just standing there and, you know, just... Yeah, they're, they're here to just it, stand yeah. here and bang, and yeah. bang they shall do. Yeah. It, it's not pretty, but it's effective. I mean, again, they're here for a reason. This is map mm -hmm. five for a reason. Mm -hmm. It has to work. See, like this is the perfect like of of like what I would call uh, of what we know some heretics. They're just gonna fucking send it. They don't care. You mm -hmm. hear the wall, but it's one v four. They take a trade yep. and they just go. They hear the wall and then they wall. Avengers assemble. Killjoy and the sniff. I don't know why the quality is so rough right now. It happens. Big rough. See, they're not doing anything different. Team Heretics is playing this exactly the same as they usually do. But this is kind of what you're saying where they can get taken advantage of, right? 
Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, it's I, I believe that was a save, but. Actually, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see on the next bind. Sorry, think, the next buy. But yeah, this is going to be... Pistols. I'd be a little gotcha. concerned if they were boosting over that wall with <laughs> actual rifles. That's true, but, yeah. Hey. Uh, Killjoy, uh... Switch it up. Yeah. Is it Aura? Pora? Pora. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Somebody yeah, Pora got a pick mid earlier. Um, came out of tiles and then shot. Mm. Killed out there. It's a gun. Yeah, CNED is uh, a bit of a a bit of a problem, let's say. Mm -hmm. Something that gun runs, I believe gun, the casters. Yeah. Oh, this is I believe the casters yeah. definitely. Yeah, this this is the issue that the casters brought up on Haven is that you know they. It's interesting to see how teams deal with an aggressive op player like CNED. Mm -hmm. The defensive wall there. Interesting defensive wall, honestly. Yeah, I, I think it gets him onto site safely, but still, it's like. I think it cuts off the angle, yeah, from market there. They can get safely. It on feels like the they smoke oh, cause, cause bombs. Well, here's the thing, though. Bombs right here. That's why they did that. I think. Such an unfortunate timing, and now they're gonna go straight into the arrow. But certainly, it can be used against you. Yeah. Will you pull it off? He found the small crack in the wall, but there's it, it definitely obscures a lot. But yeah, rolling it back a map, and Miratix had to fight hard for that one. Yeah, I think I the point is just so they can get onto site one. safely. Like that, that has but to if, be the only reason. But if it's defense and you already have site control, then are you really well? I don't about know if they did. The they didn't. I don't think they. I mean, they had site control at the time, but if they just rush in there, then you're gonna get overwhelmed. So. I'm not saying that's the right call, but basically, because base, because yeah. because offense can like just flood in there because they had their wall, right? They can just flood into the site, and let's, there's let's only one up. person. I'm here. actually yeah, interested yeah, yeah. to see. So let's check it out. Let's see. All right. Take so, it from the top. Yeah, yeah. So we can we can base off this first thing here. Mm -hmm. We have uh, first pick, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess he t did he TP? He must have TP'd. No? Yeah, I think he did. He just walked Yeah, in. he doesn't have any alt charge, so okay, okay. he must have yep. snuck in there somehow. So yeah, there's a trade to kill the opper. So this is a defensive Hunter's Fury. Yep. And then on this point, you see here. So Bone have Cold has here. Sight. Yep. Yep. But then there's sight. three here. He gets the kill. That can loop in. Oh, 100 percent but yeah i don't know if that's the let's see the moment but at this down. point right here we know that nobody else is in and it's not just necessarily just us unless to be fair there is a smoke up maybe you know the comms are a little you know dirty a little messy they don't know no they don't know necessarily that somebody isn't standing sidewalk so maybe the vision's a little obscured mm -hmm. adds a little credence to what you're saying to say hey i'm gonna need help we need to kind of clear our vision cut up our sight lines to be able to get onto that site so mm -hmm. i I, th I think i'm piecing together what you're saying yeah like bombs down on sidewalk like... yep but to your current to tell I me mean, to your point you could just passively hold you know the uh that's kind of what i was assuming they'd want to do right that's why the, the wall felt so weird where it's just like you're denying your own sight lines mm -hmm. but if you think that there's somebody at least a small percent chance at the very most um, possibility that somebody could have snuck out that you didn't necessarily take into consideration. You don't want to just dry swing into that. You know, yeah. the wall, again, like you're saying, does give you that very safe lane directly onto the site to be able to stop any kind of push. What up, Yerks? Um, yeah, yeah. Because So, I mean, this is obviously a choice and there's not necessarily like a right or wrong, but what maybe, you know, the thought was, of course, I cut off the sideline out of CT because they could have market or their B main. So then you hold on site itself to watch this. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely more agreeable with the market. Mm -hmm. You bring that up. I think that is definitely something that. But it's not a play I would have expected, though. No. Like if I'm a Sage player, I'm not thinking to put up that wall. So it no, is interesting yeah. to see the decisiveness from honestly both 100%. of these teams. But from Ascend, it was too. quick, too. That it was, was really that was not, a, it was really not quick. something that they really kind of thought about or, you know, kind of waffled about. It was cut this mm -hmm. off. Let's move on site. Let's not worry about trying to, you know. 
have the flexibility of all these different site lines. Let's well, just hold site, let them come to us. It would be interesting to uh, to clip this and send it to uh to to Star. Be like, yeah. what was the thought here? I actually think I, actually I'm gonna write that down. I I want to do that actually. Okay. I want to do that. I think that'd be fun. Um, I do like the market call though. That was that. That's not something I was even considering. The fact that you can TP, or the Omen did TP what it looked like or what looked to be directly into market. That could kind of create a fog of war where maybe they didn't necessarily have a strong presence mm -hmm. mid. There could be somebody coming up through that angle, so a reason to kind of gamble. Okay, cool. Very, I wrote it down. We'll do it later. Great. Astute. Another early hunter spirit as well, from uh, the, the side of ascend. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's yeah. in response to the from the shadows of heretics, but definitely something that kind of taking note of from from both teams. Right. If memory serves me, uh, maybe it's. I mean, they've used it like you said, uh, from a very safe position, checking certain lanes. Like maybe mm. they're expecting. Uh, team heretics to just do executes right like they haven't been ones to play defaults in a traditional sense yep. yeah that's end of the end, end of the round. half end of the half all right so mm. this is this i yeah i do think two heretics compositional credit um if there was an ever a side to feel a little safer it probably would be defense um but to uh, on the flip side of that, Ascend still feels like they can be and has the, the flexibility to do a lot of different kinds of looks. Again, you still, you can meme on Jet Smokes all you want, but the fact that you can use them immediately on your execute, granted, they feel a little committal. So it's definitely one of those things that kind of uh, forecasts where you're going just because of how quick they, they dissipate. Uh, but the fact that you have them in that immediate, you know, initial take is, is super, super vital. Mm -hmm. um, not something that Heretics had on on their attacking side. Mm -hmm. So I, I think if Heretics is going to make a comeback, it is going to be on the defensive half. Um, obviously, it's going to have to be the case. But just compositionally, it feels a little bit more catered to them. Mm -hmm. Whereas Ascend can be a little bit more loose on attack. I, again, I, I, I like their composition a little bit more. Again, still not big on the arena, but... Uh, a little bit more flexible, a little bit more versatile. You can do a lot of different things with it. It's not so let's put up the Viper wall and just run the same direction every time. Let's kind of change it up. Let's, you know, obfuscate. Let's let's not necessarily run the same play every time. Not necessarily yeah, I saying definitely, that Heretics is doing that, but... I definitely hear that, like, in especially as you watch Valorant, even, even when we watched uh, the Korean Masters this weekend, that your mm -hmm. mental model of the best Valorant to play is opening up as many options as possible. For you to do and i think what i appreciate about team heretics is they're a team that seems to throw that out the window they really don't care yeah, to like have they don't need to have option multiple options open what they need to know is can they do the thing they want to do right now obviously like just, do they, they only won three rounds on that which isn't good yeah. but like but it, it didn't it wasn't like they were you know ape it wasn't just thoughtless. killing over and dying right it was 100%. like they were still they were still in positions that like they were still getting onto site they yeah. were still battling it was scrappy it's not pretty it, it feels like heretics attack isn't necessarily pretty but it's effective right like yep. they're getting in there they're winning those fights they're 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 confident they're doubling down on their their picks that they've gotten them here and i think that's you know noteworthy and i think that's that has merit to it mm -hmm. but then i look at ascent and yep. i look at you know it, it feels like they have a good read you know, I'm looking at that bar and down in the bottom of the YouTube feed and uh, we got some time <laughs> to go. So, again, could be very, very wrong here. So we will have yeah. to see on their, their defense. That's one advantage of having the other format, by the way, as you couldn't see the end of the YouTube <laughs> bar. But we are... Uh, I will use mind. what I am given. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. Yeah, 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 we'll take the read. Okay, cool. So so let, let's... I, I want to underscore a couple things because I think we, we tend to talk about a lot of topics on this. But one mm. of the things that I'm taking away from what you're saying is... You expect this attack from Ascend to be uh, Ascend on Ascent to be one to where they're going to take advantage more of their utility. They have a true duelist that has utility to allow them to enter sites. I think that's a good point. Yes. What you said is 
the terms Riot used and may not necessarily be the ones that we should we should land on, right? So so entry, absolutely. Yep. And then in, you're saying in, in terms of flexibility with Arena, I think we're going to watch for that. Um, I, I think those are really the two things to watch for is how much more how much more uh, flexible our ascend on the attack versus what yes, we saw, which 100%. was just the brute force, you know, just drive the truck into the fence kind of kind of offense that was pretty much uh, that was uh uh team heretics and and to rain his credit um i i think lear is a powerful ability and i think that for ascend one avenue they could kind of go down is is playing rain a little bit more like a support kind of using the leer to kind of get the jet in the jet necessarily doesn't necessarily have to cloud burst her own entry she can kind of play off the leer leer has to be shot or you have to give up those sight lines that you already kind of are holding. So it effectively, you know, again, to go card game on everybody, you know, it effectively adds HP to your team, which is great. Um, but just even off of that, again, it just kind of talks or speaks to the flexibility of a sense composition. I think it, mm -hmm. I, I like it a lot. Very mobile, very quick. Um, wow. And that's not just off this pistol. I think just compositional, it, it does a lot. So I'm pausing here because I'm I love that a couple wall. of things that we, yeah, so you're talking about this wall here, right? I love that wall. Yeah. It's it, it forces so much. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you can't just immediately run across the map and challenge heaven, you have to go through mid and cut through cat and work through tree and uh, so yeah, much I mean, so much ground to cover. Exactly. And obviously it's pissed around too, so it's even harder to to get by that mm -hmm. wall. And you have to you, you don't have a ton of ammo either. Right? You're probably using yep. two um, two magazines to get through that that wall um so they take the drone through mid they follow it up and smoke off market nope. oh wait hold on did that smoke come from the defense it's okay okay here just from he, he did send it. yeah i just i just yeah. saw i thought i saw it from that direction yeah <laughs> so this is this is great get the play site they actually play super passively there. Do they there. just challenge pizza or whatever the and hell this you is, call This is rough here, right? Because because Rain is going to actually... I mean, you kind of... I, I think they had the right read. They sniff it out. They're like, are they really about to push through here? I mean, they closed the door, which... To their credit, you kind of have to. I just don't know why uh, Nuki pushes that. that. Right, because yeah, they could probably be... not... I mean, to, I don't to, expect... Yeah. I, I do wonder if they didn't expect them to be in that smoke. They're up there pretty it, fast. It, they they were walk yeah, they were full they, walking the entire time. I mean, yeah, if if they're full walking, you probably have to hear them. I, I so, sorry, sorry, not necessarily I'm in, the most. I mean, uh, what was what slow walk? They're not running. They're slow walking. So like completely silent, yeah, but okay. but they're they're okay. they were routing the entire time. So I, I think, think so. based on like the the mental timer that you'd have, it'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. okay, the, the, you would the, expect them. Yeah, it's like oh, they might be here, so I'm gonna push through the smoke and check it out. Versus it's like okay. Versus I'm, oh, there's a oh, whole team like in literally this smoke. in my face. Great. Yeah. yeah. So, much so I don't I don't necessarily blame them, but yeah, thinking about it that way, yeah, I definitely one don't of, as yeah. well. One of those those gambles that you kind of have to take. It's just like I don't think you're gonna be here, but oh, you are great. Yep. Unlucky. So it's two v five. Definitely one of those things to do in pistol. If, yeah. If ever. I think Rubino's a CS player as well. Maybe somebody in chat can correct me. I want to say he was like a... Two and wine, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, two and wine's very strange. They, they also had five up in the post plant. They were like, let's just stuff, let's just stuff this. 10-3. Yeah, Do you force rough. here? Um, I think you have to, right? I wonder if they're gonna... If you force here, you can buy around two. Can buy on twelve. Yeah. So you force here, you lose three three eleven. Mm -hmm. You come in, you have to save again. So it'd be three twelve, and then you can buy. Well, you can buy on three twelve. Hmm. Oh, you mean in the match that would that would decide the 312? Because if they saved here, yeah. then they Around, could. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. If they saved here, they'd get a buy after this, so it'd be yep. three eleven if yep, they lost. Exactly. Yeah. And then they'd be coming into a, a weird scenario. The entire site is open. 
Okay, let's see the so utility. So really aggressive push. So that's that way uh, Team Heretics knows that it's going to be A, pretty much. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's no way this is going to be B. Mm -hmm. Unless... Are they going to get fancy? Is there going to be a pick here? That's a smart drop. Spike drop there. Yep. Drop the spike. Be able to kind of peek this on your own. It's very safe. Oh, no! No, dude! Uh, it pays oh. off. Again, everything that Ascend is doing is just coming up aces. They they suspect that there's somebody could be in spawn, so they drop the spike. They don't want to show their hand. Yeah. It pays off. Everything they're oh. doing, I am absolutely in love with. The wall last yeah, round on pistol. So this is walled off the market. If people can't see. Yeah. That's an offensive wall, I believe. Yeah, offensive wall. They yeah. they they wall it as they came up through market through mid gotcha. and crossover on the point. Yeah. I like it a lot. This is I like what I'm they look very fluid. Like Ascend looks super comfortable. Super comfortable. Mm -hmm. I think there are a couple really unlucky rounds for Team Heretics. Like, but I think at most like two to three three max rounds right yeah so yeah, at most this is a six seven right now heading into this oh well you know there's still time on the youtube feed so they must be they must get something done another thing that i've noticed <laughs> um especially when it comes to Europe, it felt it feels like they're much more inclined to save necessarily taking like these hero like three v fives or what have you. Um, they're very cognizant of the fact. They're, well, maybe not cognizant. I think that goes without saying, but um, they're honest with themselves when it comes to like the state of the game, where it's like, okay, our, the the post plan has entire map control. They have all the site. There's too much ground for us to necessarily cover. It's not probably worth the resources or the loss of a gun if something were to happen. So we'll just give you this round, mm -hmm. be okay with it. Whereas Korea feels very brawly in those decisions where it's like 3v5, yeah, we could probably win this. And sometimes they do, but most of the time they kind of dig themselves a hole and they don't necessarily have as strong uh, of eco rounds. Whereas it feels like Europe, again, from the maps that I've seen recently, um, a little bit stronger on the eco because of some of those, those mid-round calls. Because they're willing to to try to kind extract as much around. information as possible, so sorry, uh, 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 to extract as much value as they can out of their eco. Exactly. Well, not necessarily out of the eco, but to give their round, their eco round, as much value as they can. Sure. Saying, "Look, you have the entire, you have site control, you have map control." Either we don't have the resources to try and contest you, or we're not really all that interested in trying to contest you. So we'll give you the round. That's totally fine. We'll come into the eco a little bit stronger than what we would have if we, you know, just try to make these hero plays 2v5, 2v4, 3v5, stuff like that. Sure. Where they're, they're honest with themselves and the odds that they have and saying, look, we'll give it up. Korea, totally the opposite. Like yeah. 3v5, we don't have enough flashes no smokes our smokes are on cooldown you know we can do this and they go in and peek and, and try to take these yep. aim duels yeah, yeah definitely sure. something that i've noticed yeah for sure um i kind of want to make a uh i kind of want to do a little uh, predicting yeah a predicting what are we predicting i don't know what though um wanna <laughs> let's let's say mm. where ascend is going to send the bomb okay because I think we we've seen them do things to where, like we said, uh, they're willing to run across map after getting some value on B. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna kind of talk out what I'm thinking here. Here's the here's okay. our spirit of pause yeah. and predict. Um, so you know, given that especially Ascend is has stronger guns here, uh, but I fully expect honestly, uh, Heretics to try to push the tempo. They know they're down. They know they're about to face a uh, match point, right? If they don't mm -hmm. win this round. Uh, so I would expect some pretty aggressive play uh, on to B from the okay. defense. And I'm going to also predict that they will, at the very least, 
Okay, let's see here. Let's look. Let's even look at ultimates. I'm excited. I'm not completely pulling it out of my butt. Um, let's see here. So we have the Hunter's Fury almost up. Uh, the Hunter, Hunter's Fury up almost, almost up on that side. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. totally see to where Heretics somehow outshoot um, Ascend on, on, on a B point. I think they're going to play aggressive, and I think they'll actually do a lot better than they would expect. And 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 then do some kind of wall play where they're with where where uh, the defense will wall it off afterwards. Um, so I think the bomb is actually going to end up towards A because okay. because there will be a defensive more it will be a stronger defensive hold on to B, and then there will be some you know feelers sent out from from uh, from from the A side. So I'm mm. going with that it doesn't feel super I'm strong, gonna... but I'm just going to go with it. Hey. You know what? That's what we're here for. We're here for <laughs> not necessarily the right calls because one of us is going to be wrong because I, yep. I feel the complete polar opposite okay. to this. Um, but one of us hopefully will be right. Yep. Um, or at least more right than the other. Um, or maybe not right at all. Maybe we just all get nuked in the end and, you know, yep. nihilism and whatnot. Um, but when it comes to... I, I, th I follow you up until um, the decision on the wall. I do think that, you know... Just based on the the pre round body language that Ascend is showing, um, it def definitely feels like they want to lean B. However, the fact that there are sages in this map, and the, I think you pointed out a, a an astute point when it comes to the the gun choices or the the gun uh, happenstance, what what guns that are on this field at the moment, um, I I think that Ascend is able to deal with the sage wall just slapped in their face very quickly. Um, and I think they have the utility, as we've talked about, as I've kind of hammered home through a lot of these points when it comes to the compositional differences, mm -hmm. to be able to kind of cut up the B site, take these duels that that allow their guns to shine a little bit more outside of the SMGs, unless Heretics is like really choked up. And again, you don't play market here. You don't have two people kind of leaning towards mid if that's something you're necessarily kind of trying to do four seconds into you yeah. know, the start of the round. I forgot that's that. That's what I'm kind of concerned Four seconds with. left, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if, if they were going to kind of be aggressive on, on defense here, I'd hope that they were a little closer. Yeah. I think, I, I agree with you. I think that that defensive sage is going to put down that wall. However, I think it's going to get blasted through. I think they're going to get smoked off, and I think they're going to be able to kind of divvy up these 1v1s very quickly and take this B-side. I think this is a very quick ascend, pounding, just straight in. We'll see what happens in terms money of where mouth is. how that how that works, but that's that's where I'm headed. All right. So where's bomb going? I think bomb is gonna go A. I think bomb's going B. Let's see it go mid. You Let's know, boys. do it. All right. Let's prediction started. Mid. One minute. Get your predictions in. I'm going bomb goes A. Bomb I'm goes B. A. I'm putting 1K on this. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go. Big spender. <laughs> All right, bet your channel points. Bet your channel points. Get them in Where's there. Where's the bomb going? 40 seconds left to go. Yeah, so now <laughs> that I'm looking at the map again, I kind of almost just wanted to say something that was kind of outrageous and just to say it. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's that outrageous. I think you could the try reasoning, to sell a fake. Maybe yeah. they don't shoot the wall. The, the one where I, I said, because, because I mean, the, the whole thing being like, oh, okay, well, if Ascent loses the battle at B, then they're going to send the bomb mm -hmm. A. Uh, it's not really, that's not the one-to-one. -one. So I just want to at least very, very much call out that because if they lose the, if they lose the fight here, then, I mean, you expect a bit of a push out from, uh, from, from heretics, right? To, to lock can them I, in. Can I B. jump to your side for yeah. a moment? All right. Go for let's it. let's again i think the the crux of our discussion kind of really falls down on the decision once that sage wall comes up from the defense yep who's to say who's to say that nuki doesn't you know have a have a successful push up mid offensively sure. from sure. from you know that ct side yeah maybe yeah. he can kind of wrap around and, and kind of collapse to, in on b main and maybe they have to run it back this way you know 100 percent. yeah all right all right i'm feeling a little better about it yeah let's see the predictions are in Let's see what happens. You can. You have to find oh boy! Wow. Okay. Well, I did we see that slow orb being held? Because that kind of. Look at this market okay. play. Look at them. Look at the wall. There's the wall. 
Yep. Heretics have to play low, uh, short range. They blasted through it already. There's a hole in there. There is a hole. There is so a hole in that wall. And just get that peak. You have a Drone up a side. They're not sure what they want to do. From from this point forward, they're not sure. Yeah. They're, they're very much playing the odds of the map. They're going to have to make a mid-round call. It felt like they were leaning B. That's that's gone the wayside at this point. Mm -hmm. Didn't get didn't get a, a didn't bite get, on that jiggle peak. But I think they heard yeah. they they should have been able to hear that. Uh. So one thing I do want to point out was with the SMGs, I was like, oh, surely they're gonna peak up here. But instead they're That's... holding market, so this is an effective range too. Yeah, there you go. There's the first yeah. kill. And they lost that. I mean, I guess did he pop all? No. No. Nope. Was not ulti. I lose that. It was surprise. It was surprise. And I was gonna say that's an effective yeah. range for SMG. So Yeah. Spike's going A, dude! Let's go! <laughs> hey, we take those. I think this is the first prediction I've gotten right in the three things that we've said, three times that we've done this prior. Dude, this is incredible. They got a little, they got a little shook up. It didn't yeah. feel like they necessarily knew what they wanted to do. Once the lineup! That, those, the, the lineup! The lineup. That was the Run that was a shock jar kill. On who? I didn't I didn't catch uh, okay, it. I saw, it was the, by, I saw it in the it was kill feed. It was by Rubino. So okay, let's 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 go back here. So guys here. This is good. This is looking actually pretty decent. For... Look at that, shook. dude. They don't very... know what to do. Yeah. They commit yeah, this is... <laughs> Doesn't feel like they. Oh, the time is there's no time to. Yeah, they, it doesn't feel like they necessarily what they wanted to do post like the smoke yeah. and the the initial the wall at b ah okay he might have just put it off the wall close here but still he's able to get it hey. on the bomb plant good solo play good solo play i'll take it all right i'll take my chan channel points and some hey, sweep them up all righty here we go we take those gobble, She's out the bomb one a let's go <laughs> all right we got our pause and predict in we got we got an Dakota. our one our quota. Uh, well, yeah, well, let, let us know. Let us know what you think. That was a good one. Know. Oh, he had a double. That was a that was an average Jonas, dude. A look double at that. bouncer. No, no, he got both. Look at the uh, look at look at the explosion here. Okay. He, uh, did you see I was both at the same time? Yeah. So this is something so that a delayed initial arrow and then. So you basically have to shoot it two different quickly. places or like with different. It's not as simple as just shooting the same place and one with like less ticks. You literally have to aim yeah, it separately yeah. so they they land at the same time. But this is stuff that like this is like this is what you would expect from like average Jonas, right? Where he's that's, like, actually, that's a, a huge catch because what ends up, I would imagine, again, I don't know the initial like the actual lineups, mm -hmm. but you have to shoot the first one so far in advance, and then the second one has to be like the actual lineup, like the first one. I would guess has to be like straight up into the air and it just has to fall down it's, like that lineups like it could do like it could do multiple bounces but you're absolutely right it's like the whole yeah. point is that you're timing it you have to shoot one before the other but they have to land at the same time and dude yep. this is this is like frame perfect that's, exact same timing that's incredible very cool rubino we got, we got our eyes on eyes out eyes out watch, i think you can him, yeah, i think you can try to avoid that um I think that's very meta dependent where the bomb's being planted. The fact that, you know, a site is a little bit more, um, it does tend to be played off site, um, based on that position while also maximizing the geometry of, of the site itself to kind of give you cover. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's I think that could for a change. Defender, um, who, who's entering from that side. Okay. So offensive hunters fury. It's a kill. So that kill was back here, by the way. Mm. Holy moly. Wow, they're skittish. Look at that. Look at the other, uh, they take the bomb out. Why? Oh, uh, that's sad. Here. Oh, I mean they're saving, yeah, I guess, save. but they're trying to be cheeky. 
Is it cheek? Does it feel cheeky to you? It's cheeky. I don't. I don't really know how to feel about it. So that's why I'm asking. Cheeky. I don't really have a an opinion either way. But they're trying kind to of felt like extract as much value out of it. That's what I would say. Yeah, I guess try to. Because otherwise they just die on point. They're all. They're all there on a site. Yeah. So once they start losing members, right? You're at least getting some guns off yeah. of them. It's phantom. That's you know. fair. Uh, Rubino was gotten CS:GO too. Well, there you go. Did CSGO have ah, okay. lineups for double go. shock darts, though? This, apparently, this gamer is still growing. <laughs> Learning and growing. Close enough, I suppose. I think it makes me appreciate whatnot, it more. But... You know, if you're coming from CSGO and you're nerding out over lineups and... I mean, mm -hmm. well, okay, hold on. Probably the lineups were probably the, the hardest in CSGO, right? You have to do the jumps in the right timing. And, uh, I will the say, spot. though... When it comes to like Sova, just because of like how like rigid it feels like he is, like you just kind of always run him uh, unless like you're playing split. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I do wonder. Like it feels kind of like a uh, like Diva Overwatch for a long time, where it's just like you just you just ran. Do, it. do tank players Main know stay. what to play other than Diva? Like, <laughs> what does your hero pool look like? What does your agent sure. pool look like if it's not just Sova? It's definitely something like way down the road that we can kind of talk about, but. Um, something maybe to know. If Sova was to fall out, what what happens to some of these teams? Mm -hmm. oh. A turnaround wall. Uh, I don't like Good that. Spray. Not a fan. Are you talking about this uh, offensive wall after they're already on catwalk? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're so far Not away from a... the point, right? I mean, I expect them to rotate on if they lose many more members, but things can happen very quickly mm -hmm. and you end up in 1v4. Is that kind of what your concern is? No, I'm kind of just hoping that they would use it to get on the site. Um, up until this point, it seems like both teams have had a, a great success at actually using that in their initial, like, engage. Um, and to see them just kind of turn around and use it as just like a, a way to cut off the angle in in terms of like an immediate backstab or kind of lurk play um i thought it was a little low value i mean it gives you the time to be able to have it solidify so the if there is a lurker they can't just shoot it without you knowing right um but yeah i was kind of hoping to see it a little bit more used to maybe cut off like the uh, i don't even know what to call this point in the map but like that a connector it's not window i guess it'd be a round window to kind of cut off the window angle or mm -hmm. divide it up yeah that yeah. that kind of area maybe divide that off be able to get into a site a little bit quicker um yeah I, I don't it's not a big deal but i was just not a not i'm sold i'm not big on it they're gonna go for the same wall play same they wall. did on the, the initial pistol they're gonna blast it again from ascent here oh, so you oh just they haven't blasted it this time yeah, they're waiting if you're are they knifing it yeah it's a it's an eco from the attack here 100 percent. but if if you're not i mean they had to if okay yeah, I was concerned with how this market push was actually going to get supported if they weren't. Oh, they just boosted over it. Okay. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, look at that. I think you could have done less. They wanted the speed. I suppose. All right. It was an eco again, so. Yeah. Can't quite put my finger on what is it about. It felt like you remember we were saying Ascend should have an easier time getting on the site, mm -hmm. given that with their jet. Yeah. Have you felt they're getting on the site easily? Because I don't. Let's see. Off of two gun rounds. The initial one where we kind of rounds. predicted. Yeah, two two equivalent by gun rounds. Um. The one that we predicted where they kind of waffled on B site after the initial smoke and the mm -hmm. wall. They crossed through mid, they got picked off. Then they were discombobulated and they ran out of time. Yeah. So I, I I mean, to be honest with you, I think they were discombobulated like immediately off round start. It seemed like nothing that they assumed was going to happen happened, and they had yeah. to kind of make like a forced round, like mid round call after yeah. kind of sitting around B for a second to kind of discuss what they wanted to do. 
Yeah. Um, that to me doesn't necessarily scream like compositional failure, mm -hmm. but for the life of me, I can't. Yeah. Remember uh, the other one, but I'm 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 not sold either way yet. It it doesn't feel like they are the getting or aren't getting. So I don't um, what's it gonna take? I I need like some some stupidly aggressive jet dashes into just dying. Like I need C Ned to just like <laughs> fly in there and just die, and I'm just going like, well, our entry died. Um, if that happens, then yeah, I think I'd have to go like, well, this entry play isn't working. Very, very safe measured. team though. Again, very like safe. checking very yeah. measured. I love I love that. Again, that bomb swap really kind of sold that was a big selling point to me. Yeah. So there's a kill from uh damage from uh the the Molly from Killjoy. Mm -hmm. So this is offensive. Uh, offensive Hunter's Fury. Holy moly. <laughs> So they get onto site and that, then immediately I think that's kind of watch it, it again, off. Because I'm going to watch the minute yeah. more here. All right. One thing, again, love love the safety here. That's great. CNED kind of uses knives and just pushes like directly into tree, which feels yep. a little greedy. So um, I don't, I don't, I don't think Bone Cold realized he was taking damage, or he got sprayed through at the same time while, because Bone Cold died to damage from the Molly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just kind of a scramble. I mean, heretics. I this is this is very much like a strong defensive setup. Super, super um, strong. I I'd say a little greedy um, to have seen it kind of immediately press into tree and kind of look for Completely some isolated. sort of like flank pay. Yeah, a little fast for my taste. I'd like a little bit more safety when it comes to just like locking down the bomb site, getting the bomb down, and then moving off. It feels like they're cutting a little corners here. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, their 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 attack has not been I hope this is a tactical timeout for us and like as clean as yeah. I mean it, it their site take they don't feel as sure. I mean like um Yeah, I'm trying to think of the right words as well. But what their presence on site after the post plant doesn't feel as strong as what Team Heretics would Oh would do. One hundred percent. It feels if I had to kind of poke a hole in an ascend's attack here, it feels like they have to they're 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 forced to make these mid round calls it seems like the flow chart of of their their plays are a little limited it, they seem to be completely thrown off by any kind of like smoke initial and they don't feel necessarily as confident to just kind of push through it and, and make that play to be fair they also don't have a flash to be able to kind of expend they don't have you know a breach flash or you know a, leer. a, a bird they do have a leer, but it's but so expensive. Rain is, the rain you only falls have two off. Of them. Yeah. All right. You, you want to so just on. Site. I would imagine you want to have it saved again. For sure. Exploding onto the site. That this is what I'm looking for. Right. I want to see these initial explosions. I'd like the omen to be a little closer, but Another lineup. By the way, you see that take um, damage onto the sage there. Yep. Rubino with the lineups. I see you. So we're playing off site. A little, a little deep for my taste. I'd like, I'd like some help on site. If, yeah, if I were in that? this game, what is that flank? It's a little, little deep. I felt. And now, they have two there. They have two from yeah, this angle. The whole, the rap was tree. not. Cena's wow. doing some heroics. Jeez. Well. There you go. Sometimes you just hit those. Sometimes you're that good. Yeah, I'm like if you if you want to see like a human highlight reel, go back and watch Haven. I'm not saying we need to do that for this stream, but just in your own time, if you want to see more of that, just go watch their Haven game. It was uh, impressive. That's impressive, a tilter. To say the least. That's a tilter. You had yeah. two attackers off site. I I I think if Cena loses that duel, which to be fair, it probably should have. Um, I, th I think they they they've kind of screwed themselves. Yeah. With with that that cr crazy deep solo rotation, I think you again you want to kind of have the flexibility of holding around wine, being able to kind of threat tree. I don't think you want to kind of just invest into one and not the other. Mm -hmm. It's a super aggressive push here through mid. Oh. 
Nuki gonna follow up on it, finds that headshot as well. Do they recon in the smoke? I actually don't know how they got that read. Yeah. Because... Or they just spray it? Oh, he maybe he just peeks in? They see the drone. Oh, see the drone, oh, the drone gets shot out. Drone gets shot out. Drone gets shot out. Oh, he did tag him too. Ah, yeah, okay, so. he tags. Yeah. Regardless, I think the, there's an offensive drone. I think it's safe to say that they're probably coming up through mid from that. Mm. I mean, they've done it before as well. <laughs> see how Sage is just such a huge part of Ascent Very big part in both strategies. Yeah. Very important. Steel feels very like wow. punchy. Yeah. If you're not winning the aim duels, you're not winning the round. Yep. Which is it's very honest, but if if I'm going to kind of use a metaphor that we talk about just like off stream, it feels very like CSGO. It doesn't feel like Valorant. Uh, it doesn't feel necessarily as ability focused. Yeah. Thus, the Reina picks, I think. Yeah. Uh, Reina gives you or rewards you a lot for getting and winning those initial opening duels. Right. Um, which kind of plays into these, you know, just aggressive um, yep. as a leader, you know, playing off contact. Wow. Oh, well, that, that can happen, I guess. That can happen. It's kind of a safe round, but. I mean, it definitely is a safe round. That's what it'd be looking like now. Bone Would Bone get that gun? With the light armor, but oh, from last round? The first I wave of the attack. Yeah. Wait, do you have to the second portion? Okay, regardless. He has it. Regardless, he has it. <laughs> it. It's not unheard of to see teams buy a gun and just kind of like trench it up where it's just like... The, I've seen you know, that more the, here. Yeah. Especially you, you, if you, like you, the, uh, the Jet had, had previously used knives. And everyone else had had bought, so they're at least on serve with the rest of the team. Eco wise, mm -hmm. yeah. When it comes to ecos, it's not not crazy to just buy a gun and just kind of walk it up. One yep. person dies, the other person picks it up. You still have a gun. I mean, a little expensive, but look how much could happen. This this all was courtesy of of uh, Nuki. Starting off with an opening pick there. It was 1v4, mm -hmm. essentially. Oh. And then he's able to dip and dodge around. Like, and we say, that like, oh, like, not huge on the rain pick, but it affords them moments like that. So, yeah, I, I think to your point, stylistically, it does feel a lot more like CSGO than Valorant. Or I should say this, it feels a lot more like CSGO than Overwatch. I mean, that might be a better way to say it, right? Sure, you're yeah, really that, ability that... focused to support yeah. you. Um, cause not saying that I think we're finding there's globally, there's differences in terms of how much this is a MOBA versus a FPS, right? Um, in terms Korea of how feels it. a lot more like a MOBA mm -hmm. and I'm sure some European teams feel a lot more like a MOBA, but from these two teams, from what yeah. I'm seeing thus far, it feels very off contact. A lot of the time when it comes yep. to these initial engages, it feels very based on just raw mechanical, just aim right now. Um, and I but think they're, they're like doing openers, right? Well, they'll smoke off certain yeah, things, you have your run initial... through, but then after that, it's all, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's totally, I think that's a, yeah. that's a great, like, uh, definition to kind of use and steal from chess where you have those openers or you, you play the sure. London and I yeah, play yeah, the, yeah, yeah. you know, the bong cloud yeah, or whatever the hell they call these checkmate days. You, yeah. Sure. You know, you have those openers, but then the mid gate comes real quick when yep. it comes to EU, whereas in Korea, it feels like the openers go for a lot longer. Yep. And the mid game is is very short. Europe yep. feels like mid game is most. Oh, it happens super uh, early. Yeah. Yeah. Once the opener drops, it's let's figure this out on the fly. Yep. They aren't necessarily helping themselves when they pick Rain. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I mean maybe that's a reaction to it though. Is that we know mid game is going to happen super fast, so I just want someone who can help me. Like if I get that yeah, pick and get out safely, down, yeah. I mean sure, they're yeah. clearly leaning into that. Yeah. It's the comfort, dude. It's I mean, there's not many, there's not many, there's no other agent. I'll say that that allows them to do a no. because of how these are unfolding and yeah. how it's happening. Oh my gosh! No way. 
Two v one. Two v one. One v one. Oh! If they had won like that, man, that would have been. Wait. Okay, they're still in it. There's still time on the bar. All right. Spoilers. I'm pull. Nothing on the bottom. <laughs> Spoilers. But this is definitely not uh, what I would have expected, what I would have predicted, right? And I think this is why, I mean, yeah. we, we talked about it before too. I think we do think big love to the casters here. Um, I'm definitely going to watch some of the other rounds and just kind of take in what they're saying. Um, mm. And they definitely bring up some good insights. Uh, I, I I really look at that that hell take and I'm like, what could you have done better? I feel like I feel like heretics just kind of ran in one by one. Yeah, they, I mean they weren't using their utility. 100. Literally no CSGO. utility used. It was CSGO. It was we have the one numbers. We're fine. Let's. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you should know better. I don't know. All right. One minute, 14 left to go. All right, here we go. Oh, dude. Holy moly. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so they get the res. They come up to pressure it. This is all in response to Ascend kind of initially coming, swinging out of yeah. the connector into mid oh and just gosh. taking a lot of these duels. So now the map's basically flipped. Before bot why just play the post play 2v2 2v2 oh my god bone cold shouldn't need to do that see ned you don't have to be so aggressive just hold the ankle uh, I, I think this gets but, yeah i i think it gets punished elsewhere happens. this kind of play style oh there yeah. it is i mean it's it's it definitely will get punished elsewhere, but in the same sense, to credit to both of these teams and their kind yeah. of style, I won't necessarily paint EU in general as like this, um, but this gives you a very high peak if given the right players. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If you can just come in and you have players like Cenid and, you know, some of these other like EU studs that can just win like 90% of your aim duels and just punch into sight for free, you have so many resources that teams would have to use to be able to get on the site that you've just shot a couple bullets and you've gotten a double kill right like if you just shocks like one tap people and just get onto site for free you it's tough to kind of balance against that right like if you come from like, like a game development perspective right like if you just click heads as as generic and as simple as that sounds and and that's the style that eu wants to go with moving forward um or maybe not moving forward but where they're at right now or at least these two teams the peak that they can hit is really obnoxious. Yeah. Again, if they, you they, can they have a, there's a pace. There's a pace that is not. It's notable, right? About the play. Mm. About the plays. They're like, whoa, okay, they're in there. You know, they move fast, but they're very. They can be very decisive. Even yeah. though I think ascend waffled a bit when it came to their attacking half. Yeah. Um. Where it felt like their mid round wasn't as strong when it came to attack, or it felt like they were very much in control of the game when it came to de when it came to defense. What? Yeah, this Bro. is this is Cned. Welcome, welcome to the show. It's uh, it's colorful. Yep, he just pounds. Wow, but yeah, to, to your point about like they can be decisive. I mean, I think if we were to describe. You just had to pick a couple words, you know, what, what is the exercise? Pick pick a couple words to describe <laughs> this thing. I think decisiveness. Mm. Um uh whatever initial. Initial. Okay. So like I, I, I mean, it, I mean it, like there's focus. Be... There's oh, oh also maybe opener, right? There's like this focus yeah. on an opener, like we're gonna leer yep. peak. We're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dash by their leer, mm -hmm. dash up draft, knives out. You know over the wall um yeah opener for sure i think it'd probably be a little easier if we divide it up by teams where it's like you kind of give a word for each each team's half or it's like you know if we talk about heretics attack 
it, it felt flat. It felt like they really couldn't get much done. They would get onto the site, um, but but past that point, it didn't feel like they were able to to necessarily lock it down. Mm-hmm. Whether that comes to you know what what we've been talking about previously when it comes to the lack of utility that the composition brings, mm-hmm. um, how effective they were able to be able to break in to the site itself without having an ultimate if without having that lockdown without having from the shadows stuff mm-hmm. like that um that felt like it definitely um uh, hindered them um and really kind of drove home this deficit um coming into the half whereas ascend on defense um felt aggressive it felt like they had dare i say a good read coming into this match where Maybe the Sage mirror matchup was going to kind of slow down the initial engagements, allow the CT side to be able to play a little bit more aggressive. Um, maybe these walls kind of obfuscate things if, if placed immediately in front of you. You kind of had the decision within a quick amount of time before that wall kind of really solidifies. Do I shoot this? Do I show you know, my hand? How many people are shooting this? Is that something we've kind of discussed and ran over? You know, it, 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 it is a very quick question to answer. Um, it, it seemed like both teams, if anything, um, had had a little issue off of the initial wall call where the, the walls placed in front of them. That's the site they were trying to hit. And now we have to figure out something else on the fly. And some of our utilities are even used. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it felt like both teams kind of struggled with that. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, like, let's less so. let's let's just de- let's decide very we we're going to we're going to pull the trigger on doing something. Like I'm making my mm-hmm. next choice very quickly, but then I'm like, yep. oh, okay, that might come back and bite me. Um, and and to your point, I think in multiple different ways, um, you know, I I tried to give Ascend a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt when it came to their composition, saying like, oh, well, they have all this flexibility. It it didn't really come through necessarily. I I would have liked to see maybe like a lurk play. You know, in one of these rounds, maybe open it up that way. Didn't necessarily see that kind of saw just again. Direct lane presses, if that makes sense, where mm-hmm. it's just like, all right, we're going to go B and then we're going to go mid and then we're going to go A. It, it wasn't necessarily as info driven as, as what it feels like Korea's metagame is. Um, yep, and again, that could be from a, a subsequent agent kind of uh, illness or ailment you keep calling it illness that, or ailment i can't it's I, i'm not gonna lie i can't yeah. think of the word yeah, yeah yeah yeah. where it's like the what do you describe <laughs> like oh i i have a sore throat or like oh i have like a runny nose and that's a symptom i don't know why i can't think of symptoms sometimes okay. but the word okay oh i see i see some of the composition where it's like <laughs> because i picked this i have to play this way yeah it's okay. a symptom of what they've chosen i got you um, i got you i got you but yeah, that's funny. Yeah, both both attackers halves was a little rougher on the edges. I would have liked to see a little bit more flexibility from Ascend, um, likewise from from Heretics as well. But again, symptomatically, just that's not even a word. I'm just making shit up. Nothing now. is symptomatically. Uh, is it symptomatically? Wait, wait, system, systematically. System, systematically is the word. <laughs> symptomatically. Yo, hey, I like that though. That symptomatically. That yeah, I like that. I like that. But Mary yeah, Webster, I, here I, we come. I, yeah right urban dictionary first think, and then we'll get there i think the big takeaway is is very much like you can tell this region's very good at counter-strike you can tell that there is thought process and and there is strategy but it's not as fleshed out i would say it feels very fundamental right now where it's like you're gonna play off my contact here's our initial flash in yep here's our post plant there's not a ton of give and take right now and i i i guarantee that that will change especially Mm -hmm. from europe um and if anything i think they have the right foot forward i think na does does as well where you have the initial like base skill to play the game and you have the fundamentals run down, then you can get to the fancy bits. And that's not to say Mm -hmm. that that Korea and Asia, um, well, I can't necessarily speak to Asia in general, but uh, Korea doesn't have the mechanics or the fundamentals, but it seems like they're just a little bit ahead Mm -hmm. of the curve 
when it comes to resource management, maybe info abuse. Yeah, um, I think the reads on the game are going to be, yeah, more more very advances different. and more focus on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I I almost see the way that Phase plays being very similar to how the oh, these yeah. teams played, right? So it's like, but that was such a different flavor from NA, right? So so I think. It's like, yeah, you can totally see where the NA versus EU matchup is actually going to be really hard to say. Like, you literally need to see them play each other because they're it's very gonna come different takes of the teams. game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When, yeah. when you look at a team like Sentinels, I th I still definitely think they have um, that that Western kind of CSGO aim dual heavy style. But right. with Sentinels in particular, I think the one reason why they're so dominant, even after having kind of an emergency substitute and having to pick up tens, mm -hmm is they are kind of a nice blend of like this Western and, and Asian style or, or maybe yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. That's, that's maybe not the best way to put it, but a blend between Overwatch and CSGO. I think they're probably the closest blend that I've seen thus far. EU feels very much CSGO, whereas some of the NA teams, I look at maybe a team like Envy, mm -hmm. um, 100 Thieves, you can, you can see how they're trying it just doesn't seem to land or it's not as flushed out or it's not as deep. Uh, there, there's, a, I, again, I'd have to look at EU a little bit more, but right. it seems like I can draw upon a couple of names when it comes to NA. Uh, whereas a team like FaZe, like, like you said, it just feels very CSGO, like mm -hmm. aim dual heavy, you know, let's allow Corey and Bebe Bay to, to get in there and, and slap some kids around and, and schmeeg um and and do some work so mm -hmm. yeah the styles when it comes to masters too stage two masters when we get to iceland is Ooh, going to be very interesting can't, can't really wait. can't wait it, the, the international competition this game is only going to continue to get it better so mm -hmm. and, and we have you know champions at the end of the year so if valorant's valorant's looking to to pop off i Seriously. think these style matchups are going to be very cool to talk about very interesting so yeah yeah Ooh, can't good wait stuff. can't wait it's gonna be good um yeah can't wait to see these, these uh metas in each of these regions mature even more but um mm. this is exciting stuff i'm glad i'm glad we got to get, take a uh, take a look at you today um, yeah know, definitely but... been an eye-opening definitely interesting for sure awesome all right what do you go what do you got going on this week um this Crash week tomorrow? if you're into Yes, we have Tactical Crotch tomorrow. So if you're a uh, competitive or watch uh, listener or, or fan or just want to kind of dabble, um, head on over to uh, Tactical Crouch on all the socials to come and, uh, you know, get filled in on that side of the world. Um, in terms of content, some some Overwatch interviews coming out. Um, if you're uh, privy or, you know, you're not necessarily under an esports rock, you've probably heard about the LA Valiant. We have some uh, experts weighing in on that front. Uh, TLDR, it's not great. Um, <laughs> you'll find out why if you read the article. Um, yep. And then Overwatch power rankings. And uh, once Masters or our challengers kicks back up, we'll jump back into Valorant. So that's, I'm excited. that's me. Can't wait. Good stuff, dude. Uh, we'll, we'll follow you over onto Twitter above your head over there. If you guys are interested, and there's mine above. Uh, but if you liked what was going on, feel free to let us know in chat. Let us know in the Discord. Um, if you have any, any, any comments, we've been doing this for uh, four weeks straight now, Volmo. So this has been super exciting. I think uh, yeah. we need to figure out uh, what we want to look at for next time. Uh, maybe other regions or perhaps some other titles. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But let us know what y'all think in the comments and in the chat. Um, but that's going to do it for us here today. I've had a lot of fun. Volmo, thanks for joining you again. We want to make sure to check Thank out you. Volmo's stuff. So he's doing a lot of really great work uh for the esports scene and uh give, shedding lights onto uh stories that need that should be told should be heard but may not may not be um but that's gonna wrap it up for here to, for us today thanks everyone for watching thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time on tuesday we're gonna be back here for another stream if you're watching the live stream if not of course check out the playlist that this youtube uh uh wherever you're you know finding this vod uh so we'll see you next time Bye bye